Beginning tonight with the Salinas couple set to make their first court appearance tomorrow, all on charges that they tortured and killed two young children. You're looking at new pictures of the accused killers, Tammy Huntsman and her boyfriend, Gonzalo Curiel. They were booked late last night into the Monterey County Jail and, in the case of Curiel, in Juvenile Hall. More on tomorrow's court hearing now and security precautions that are being taken from the couple. Live from Action News reporter Felix Cortez in Salinas. Well, Dan Aaron, security expected to be tied at tomorrow's court hearing for the accused killers who are already under tight security at the county jail and juvenile hall. The charges and notoriety that have followed Tammy Huntsman and Gonzalo Curiel back to Monterey County have law enforcement taking extra steps to protect the couple while they're in custody. She is housed differently than you would think for most people. She is being housed in a single cell, which means she's kept away from other inmates to protect her from other inmates or anybody else that might, uh, for some reason, uh, based on what they heard or what they've read, think they might want to do something. Huntsman is in the county jail, locked in her cell round the clock, but for one hour, when she's allowed to shower, go to the rec yard. Curiel is at Juvenile Hall, where he'll remain until next month when he turns 18. His contact with others very limited. Both Huntsman and Curiel on heightened security alert, reserved only for the most notorious. We have housed some very, very serious offenders um, that, that I have experienced in my career. Uh, Mr. Curiel certainly ranks uh, as one of those. He is essentially in a protective custody status with us. 39 year old Tammy Huntsman and her teen boyfriend Gonzalo Curiel accused of torturing and killing a three year old girl and her six year old brother who were in Huntsman's care. A memorial now growing outside the Salinas apartment where the kids once lived and police believe the abuse started. Security will be tied at the courthouse Friday when the accused killers make their first court appearance. The couple did receive death threats while in Plumas County, deputies warning against it here. There is somebody out there thinking that, you know, they're not happy about what happened. I just uh, would remind people, let the person is in custody, let the uh, criminal justice system run its course. And in the meantime, both Curiel and Huntsman are being housed on a no bail hold, which means they're not going anywhere. Dan, Aaron. All right. Thank you very much, Felix. Huntsman and Curiel are expected to be arraigned tomorrow afternoon at 1 30 among the charges torture, murder, and child abuse. Also on the crime watch tonight, a Chular woman has been sentenced to 300 days in the county jail after pleading no contest to child abuse. Prosecutors say back in September, a truck driver. I found Diane Aguilar's three year old son wandering along Highway 101 alone in nothing but shorts. While investigating the case, police officers discovered that her home was in no condition for anyone to live in, let alone children. All three of her children are now in protective custody.